I think the average New Yorker would be pretty surprised if I started listing out the species that are right here in our own backyard. You have humpback whales, fin whales, sci whales. You have one of the most endangered whales on the planet, the North Atlantic right whale. You have the largest animal that's ever lived, larger than the dinosaurs, the great blue whale. It's amazing to me how little people know about the wildlife, the marine wildlife that exists right off our shores. So the buoy very simply listens for whales, and when it hears whales, it will contact us and tell us what whales it's heard. The buoy is going to be deployed uh, about 25 miles off the coast of Long Island. What will be interesting is when we put this thing in the water, how quickly it is that we hear animals. Whales and marine mammals in general spend so much time underwater, and some of them so far away from land, it's very hard to study them. I'm very interested in the use of technology to try and, and answer scientific questions. Mark and the acoustics group that I work for at NOAA work together to develop a really extensive protocol. Every day I'll analyze what comes in from the buoy in real time. It's definitely amazing to see what they're saying. I don't think New Yorkers will care about what they don't know. So this buoy is a great opportunity to connect them to what's out there. We don't know exactly what we're going to find out. That's the exciting part about all this. I can't wait to hear the results myself. 